So what is up guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an airplane that uh, boomerangs, as you saw in the beginning of the video, the clips of this, that boomerangs back to you. Uh, you have to throw it at a certain angle and I'll tell you about that later on. First let's get to actually making the paper airplane. <clears throat> so first what you're going to want to do is just fold the paper in half, make it crease down the middle. Simple as that. What you want to do with like every paper airplane that you make, you know, use your nail to kind of push down on the crease, open it back up, perfect. And then what you're going to want to do is find this line and line it up perfect with that line and make the crease like that. And then flatten it with your nail or ruler or whatever you have. And then do the same thing on the other side. So it's proportional and you want to make sure each side are as even as possible uh, for the best flight and so it's most efficient and so once you do this like you do with most paper airplanes you actually want to see on this line you want to fold it back directly on that line and line this up the tip right with the center line that you've created at the very beginning of making paper airplanes so now it looks like that and then what you're going to want to do is take this tip, fold it backwards and kind of make the crease like that. Then fold that up again and use this corner and put it right, got to get it pretty good, but right on the line. And have the um, paper hit the other corner right here. Let me get it. Have this part of the paper hit right there. Um, so you should... Uh, or, sorry, sorry, that part of the paper, sorry, hit right there. Um, and so you put the tip on the line, flatten it out, like so, pretty easy. And then you do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So again, pretty, pretty easy. Uh, there you go. And you just flatten that one out. Perfect. Uh, if you want to use your nail, flatten that out like I did before. And then what you want to do is actually fold this on top of that and it kind of holds it secure. Uh, and you might be wondering like, oh, but that's not really holding it. So once you do that, you want to fold it like that. So this part, this little triangle is on top and make sure you kind of line these up. That doesn't matter so much right now, but then what you're going to want to do is find that and that, split it halfway down the middle so that touches this, but perfect. Try to make it as perfect as possible. So, so that, and then you just kind of want to uh, see. So it looks, really, it looks pretty good, I think. So you kind of fold it, go down the middle. Your finger, make sure. Okay, and straight down the middle. And then you're gonna wanna do the same to the other side. So line it up, perfect. And then just kinda straighten it down there. And then once you do that, check, see if those are lined up. Worry more about that and less about that part. Uh, but then like kinda fold it like that. So once you do, kinda do that. And this is how you make an actual paper. This is one of the good paper airplanes that you can actually make. Hold it by that part. But if you want it to actually curve, all you have to do is just take this part. I prefer actually cutting it, like, or not cutting it, like ripping it with my hand. If you use scissors, I don't know if it'll work exactly the same. But, so I just take my fingers, kind of rip this part. And once you rip it, it's still down, right? So you want to take it, push it up, and boom. It looks just like that. And um, that's really all you need to use to make it. That's all you have to do. Um, there are other ways to make different curved airplanes. Um, I've tried them and they work. You have to throw them at this weird specific angle. With this one, you just basically throw it completely straight. And sometimes you can have like a tiny, tiny little slight uh, tilt to the right. Or if you're left-handed, to the left. Uh, and you throw it with a tiny little curve with your hand. And... Um, It'll curve and go straight back to you. So 
Hope you did enjoy that video. Um, tell me how it worked out for you. If the video doesn't have comments on, I'm gonna try to fix that because YouTube like automatically puts comments off uh, for videos like this. But um, yeah. So tell me if it worked good for you guys, and see you on the next video slash stream. Bye, guys. Guys, this is at the very end of the video, but look. So you see this one? Look how that looks. Much smaller bottom compared to the original model that I actually rushed on. Boom, boom. Not even symmetrical on each side, as you can tell. But um, this model, the one that like I took a lot of time on for this video, um, doesn't. So if you're outside, this one curves like much slower, so it like goes in a much wider area. As for this one, the one that I used it, that you saw at the beginning of the video goes a much like sooner curve and like um you can do it like indoors so this one would be used for outside you can kind of tweak around with like where you actually like put your creases on it but you make them exactly the same so um if you want to try to put the creases like a little bit like uneven or like a little bit further up or a little further down or whatever and just mess around with it um yeah so this one curves in a much wider area this much uh, smaller area so both different but the same uh yeah just hope you guys um would want to hear that just so you know just in case yours doesn't uh curve super fast or yours curves super fast so you can kind of like tweak around with that now it's the actual end of the video bye